Ever felt like you're running on empty, giving everything you've got and more to care for a loved one? It's a common struggle, this selfless act of caregiving. Often it's a road riddled with sleepless nights, emotional exhaustion, and a constant feeling of burnout. But here's the thing, you can't pour from an empty cup. It's paramount to remember the importance of self-care, even amidst the chaos of caregiving. If you're nodding yes, know that you're not alone and it's time to focus on you. First on our list is something often overlooked, self-care. Now, let's take a moment to ponder the story of Emily, a dedicated caregiver who, in her quest to provide the best care possible, forgot to tend to her own needs. Her health gradually declined, she became exhausted, and eventually fell ill. This is a clear illustration of how neglecting self-care can lead to burnout and even illness. To avoid walking in Emily's shoes, prioritize your well-being. Allocate time for relaxation and rejuvenation. This could be as simple as curling up with a good book, immersing yourself in a hobby you love, or just taking a leisurely walk outside. Never underestimate the power of these small acts of self-care. They replenish your energy, rejuvenate your mind, and ultimately, make you a better caregiver. You might be thinking, but I don't have time. Well, make time. Because at the end of the day, you can't pour from an empty cup. So, fill yours first. Our second tip is to seek support. Picture a man named John, an average guy with a big heart, devoting himself to caregiving. The weight of his responsibilities began to feel like a mountain on his shoulders, a mountain he thought he had to climb alone. Until one day he discovered a local support group for caregivers. He was hesitant at first but he took the leap and joined. He found himself surrounded by people who truly understood his struggles, his triumphs, his fears, and his joys. This experience was transformative. It made him realize that he was not alone, that there were others out there who could share his journey. And that's our point, dear friends. You don't have to do this alone. Reach out, and you'll find hands willing to help. Our final tip is to set boundaries. Consider the story of Mary, a dedicated caregiver who found herself constantly overwhelmed by the demands of her role. She was always on call, always available, and it began to take a toll. Then, she learned to set boundaries, she learned to say no when necessary, to delegate tasks, to allow herself to take breaks. She discovered that setting boundaries didn't mean she was failing in her role as a caregiver. On the contrary, it helped her find a balance between her caregiving responsibilities and the other aspects of her life. This shift made her a better caregiver, not a worse one. Remember, setting boundaries doesn't mean you care any less, it means you care enough to keep going.